Hi everyone, we're here at John Sather's Auto Repair. And today we have a 2002 Mitsubishi Galant ES with a 2.4 liter. The customer states they crank the engine over, it goes whirr, 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 and it doesn't start. Sometimes it'll start right up. Check engine light came on. We have a code PO340 camshaft position sensor. And now I'll show you how to replace it on this engine. <coughs> The sensor is located right here on the back of the cylinder head, just like on um, you would have a distributor on an earlier model vehicle. And this is the sensor right here. And I've already taken a little bit of brake cleaner and cleaned up this area around here. And I'll show you, we'll just take a little bit, there's a couple of little spots that I missed, but we're just gonna kind of clean around there because this goes right in the cylinder head and there's oil in there. We don't want to have any dirt or debris go inside there. So we'll take a little bit of air and blow it off. Then it has a bolt hole here. And that there's a bolt that goes in there. Then there's supposed to be a little bracket with a bolt that goes there. That's just worn off over time. And there's another connector that goes up around the front to the oxygen sensor. We move that out of our way over here. And I took the air cleaner housing off. because this whole housing fits down inside here and it just, it just gets in the way. So we just remove that out of our way. I'm replacing the batteries. That's the reason the battery's out. We have a new battery by a company called DECA. I really like those batteries a lot. They're made in the United States. Okay, so now we've got access to our sensor. We got this little housing loose so we can, so we can move the wire loom out of the way. This has a push pin connector here. So it's gonna push that in lift it straight up and it comes off look inside our wire in there it looks nice and clean inside the connector this takes a 10 millimeter socket to take it loose and the sensor has an o-ring on it so we're just going to pull it straight out lift it up and then we just angle it out of there. And there's our camshaft position sensor. So it looks like the original one that came with the vehicle. Okay, then what happens is a little bit of debris gets in that hole. So we'll take a little bit of brake cleaner. I like the CRC brand, it's a brand I like. Spray some on a towel there, then we're gonna clean this little area. So it looks pretty nice and clean there. So next we're gonna have our new sensor. It's gonna have a new O-ring and everything on it. So what I do is I take a little bit of blue grease. You don't need very much, just a little bit on your fingertip. I can't do this with both hands here, but I'm gonna put a little bit of blue grease on there. Okay, I've got just a thin coating on the O-ring there. So I'm gonna push the wire loom up a little bit, get the sensor in the hole, and let the sensor go down just to where the new O-ring starts to touch. And all you do is grab on each side of it and gently rock it. And it just kind of drops right into place. Okay. Then we put our bolt back in. So we have a torque setting on this. We have our all data printout and it's 78, 78 inch pounds. So once you know what the code is and you have this kind of problem on this type of engine, you can do this yourself. You can buy an aftermarket inch pound torque wrench, they're not too expensive and you slowly run it down, then the wrench will click when it gets to the right tension. Okay, inside the connector, it was just like barely damp inside there a little bit, so I take a little bit of computer air. So I'm gonna blow it up inside there to clean the connector. 
take another look inside there. Looks good, nice and clean. Then we'll plug it on to our sensor. Then I just get on, on both sides of it and push down. And you can actually hear the little click sound that's in place. So that's how you replace that. So what I got next to do is just put the battery in, put the little bracket on the wire loom, uh, hook up the air intake boot, through the check engine light, and go test drive it. I have another happy customer, John Sadler's. That's how you replace a camshaft position sensor for code PO340 on the Mitsubishi product. Thank you.